Hello and welcome to External Star Channel. My name is Marek and today I will review uh, this beautiful Cadillac from uh, the movie Godfather. And this one is also including this uh, figure of Godfather. So let's see what are all the features. So as I promised, we will uh, today we will review this beautiful Cadillac from 1940, which was also uh, in the movie Godfather. And uh, together with this car, I also received uh, this figure of actually Godfather. So let's first review this figure because I already have many figures uh, from American Diorama, but this one uh, is a little bit better I would say because there are no no significant mistakes or flaws you can see the hair is exactly where it should be and also the face it looks really realistic um, if you know Don Corleone from the movie it looks exactly like him uh, also he has the red flower here uh, also the fingers uh, the only thing is that the fingernails are not colored in a proper color. Yeah, so it's the same color like the rest of the hands. And this is something that they should improve. And then uh, in the back, uh, it says Paramount Pictures, Jada Toys, uh, Incorporated, China. So maybe they could also remove this and not place it here on his back because sometimes if I shoot uh, pictures for example like this uh, then uh, all the signs uh, would be visible here which is then uh, making the picture a little bit worse but then uh, apart from that he has also the black shoes there is nothing to uh, do wrong with them uh, basically Everything here is just black, so nothing to be really mess up, okay? So, and we have also uh, some small tiny details here, uh, and there are no cufflinks uh, on his shirt, okay? But no worries, you can also see that uh, there is a little bit of gray uh, in his hair, so it's, yeah, you can see that this is one older man. So a great figure, thank you very much Chada Toys, uh, that's one nice addition to this model, but now everyone is really interested into this masterpiece. And I must say it's quite heavy. So let's start really uh, from the front part. And yeah, <laughs> if you know me already, you know that I don't like when the front grille is not perforated. And here it's just one massive part of plastic which is not perforated at all. I would uh, expect some holes here, 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 like everywhere. And it would be so much better if this would be perforated. And here. Uh, you can see the small tiny Cadillac logo from the 1940s. Now it's a little bit different recently. And also here uh, the statue, which is something that I uh, don't like so much. Yeah. Even if it looked like this in, back in 1940s, I don't like it. And then uh, we have um, the front lights. And they are very nicely done because there is this background, it's transparent, yeah, all the details are there. And then we have the blinkers here. Uh, and unfortunately, this is not a transparent plastic part. It's just a yellow color over this uh, chrome part, which look, doesn't look so realistic. So what I would expect is that they would make just two parts here. One would be the chrome part and the second one the transparent plastic and inside there would be uh, orange or yellow color. Yeah, Just the same way how they did this because it looks so much more realistic. And then we have the side part and there is nothing so surprising. So maybe only here you see that it's not uh, in line. Yeah, Those chrome trims, uh, it's not in line here. It's a little bit more on the top and there are also big holes here but okay and very one very interesting thing that you can see how those doors are attached here uh, in the front instead of being attached uh, inside 
and then uh, one common feature for all cars from 1940s that they have this uh, white color here uh, on the wheels and then a very nice uh, reflective um, rest of the wheel here so we cannot check if there are any uh, brakes there because it's not visible but one thing that I already recognized is that you can't really uh, turn the wheels it's in a fixed position yeah at least they spin that's one advantage but you can't uh, do anything else and then we have the rear part and here it says uh, the Godfather because obviously this is from the Godfather movie and here once again this is the Cadillac logo and here there is a little handle here and I can just take this and open it uh, I am quite disappointed here because there is no carpeting no details no spare tire there's absolutely nothing inside okay so that's disappointing and then we have the rear lights and also here it's not uh, transparent it's not uh, as nice as it could be if the manufacturer was for example auto art or uh, some other better brand in the end Jara Toys are uh, already in the name of this company Toys yeah so maybe this is not supposed to be fully a collector's model it's more uh, also for playing um, but considering the price which was like 130 US dollars um, it's not so cheap yeah so it's somewhere between being a model and uh, being a toy car and then we have the wipers here they are really tiny and yeah I'm just wondering if in nine back in 1940s they have so tiny wipers and they have two of them because also uh, the this glass here uh, the front the front glass is separated here in the in the middle so maybe now you are wondering what is inside and not only inside like in the interior but also here uh, under the hood so let me first show you this I will open it and uh, show you what is there and there is the engine and some of the details and maybe you tell me how you like it for me it's not so bad but also not so nice it's something average yeah especially and I will show you right now especially here this part here because it's just somehow printed on the uh, plastic part and this could be much better if those uh, cables like here the cable here yeah if this would be really a separated cable now it's only like imprinted into this one plastic part okay so that's uh, how it looks uh, like under the hood and now let me just show you how to open the doors these are the suicide doors meaning uh, you open uh, this door uh, in a different um, in a different way the opposite direction and inside it's pretty simple because back in 1940s uh, there were no such details and features like uh, automatic automated um, windows or electric windows power windows whatever you call it it was not there so also if you see the steering wheel there is like nothing behind there is no speedo speedometer or nothing like nothing showing you uh, whatever there is actually nothing there is not even a radio is it no I don't, I don't see that let me just open also from the other side maybe it, it will be visible on the other side which I oh god can you see what just happened I just broke this yeah I would need to glue it back in I just broke this handle okay so let me open it like this through the window 
And this is also interesting because uh, the rear doors, they have the windows in, in them, but the front doors, they don't have it. So I don't know why some of them have it, some of them don't, but probably if you would like to have this somewhere um, like in a showcase, uh, then the dust would go inside through the front doors because uh, glass is missing there. And then all the details again and the radio, I don't see that. Can you see the radio? Maybe it's there, but no, probably not. And in the rear area, there is only this uh, seating area. And again, nothing like that. Yeah, nothing like in modern cars. But there is one feature that I like, and that's the separating wall with with the glass. It's like in the modern limousines where you have this glass to separate the driver from uh, the passengers in the rear seat. Okay, so that's quite nice and uh, I also want to show you how it looks like on white background. So here we go, the same car but a different background. Now you can see it on a white background. Maybe some of the details will be more visible now. If not, uh, then I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so what we have here again, the very nice tires and the wheels, the statue here, the front lights, uh, not perforated, the grills everywhere and the statue of uh, the Godfather. So overall a very nice car and I would give it a very high rating but uh, of course there is one thing that I don't like and it would be so much better if the front grille was perforated. Yeah, so that's the biggest disadvantage of this uh, very nice model car. So in the end I would rate it like 78% and I would recommend to buy it if you like uh, those vintage cars, if you collect cars uh, from uh, famous movies uh, then this is one to be considered definitely. So thank you for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed, uh, just subscribe to my channel if you like this one and I will talk to you next time, thank you, bye bye.